we would now discuss one of the eukaryotic cells we have seen that in eukaryotic cells we placed three types of organisms basically four types of organisms protists are also there fungi are also there plantae and animalia so all animal cell plant cell fungal cell and a protist cell all them all these cells they are eukaryotic cell but we would take up two the first one that we are talking of is an animal cell and after animal cell then we would discuss the plant cell because these two are the most important eukaryotic cell animal cells they exist in multiple uh, shapes and sizes the most common shape that we normally talk of is an oval or roundish cell and the outermost membrane is the typical plasma membrane plasma membrane which is made up of proteins and phospholipids centrally normally centrally placed is a large nucleus this nucleus is a double membrane structure and in case of animal cells this nucleus is normally centrally placed and as we said we are drawing a normal typical cell most of the cells are uninucleate so there is a single nucleus in this the membrane is known as the nuclear membrane there are pores in the membrane these are known as nuclear pores in every nucleus there is normally a dark stained body which is known as nucleolus and the inner side is filled with a material or a matrix which is known as nucleoplasm in this nucleoplasm are present thread like structures which are actually the genetic material strands or the thinned out uh, chromosomes these thread like structures they are known as the chromatin fibers and all these things together make the nucleus so this is the nucleus all these parts are the parts of the nucleus normally centrally placed the area between the plasma membrane and the nuclear membrane is filled with another jelly like or gelatinous material which is called the cytoplasm so all around this is cytoplasm in the cytoplasm are present the membrane bound structures that is organelle when we were talking about prokaryote eukaryotic cells we said in prokaryotic cells there is no membrane bound structure whereas in eukaryotic cells there are membrane bound structure like nucleus is also membrane bound the other structures which we will be drawing now they are also membrane bound the first structure that we are drawing is endoplasmic reticulum so from this nuclear membrane there is a network of tubes which grows and this network is known as the endoplasmic reticulum we'll draw two of these one more and when we see the detailed structure of these uh, endoplasmic reticulum or other organelle we would realize that in a big cell when we draw this kind of diagram we draw it slightly differently than its actual structure so this is the endoplasmic reticulum on one of the endoplasmic reticulums we will draw some dot like structures which are representing the ribosomes so on the membrane are present these ribosomes so this one endoplasmic reticulum which is not having ribosomes on its surface is known as the smooth endoplasmic reticulum
The reason why it is called smooth because it's on, on the surface there is nothing attached. Whereas this one is known as rough endoplasmic reticulum. And the reason for calling it rough are these ribosomes. So ribosomes are sand grain like structures which are attached on the membrane. So when we touch this membrane it is, it is going to appear rough. So these dots which we have drawn, these are the ribosomes. And in case of eukaryotic cells, the ribosomes are ATS type of ribosomes. So these are two endoplasmic reticulums. One is smooth, other is rough. The rough one has ribosomes attached on its surface. Let us draw one more uh, organelle that is Golgi complex or Golgi body. Whenever we draw Golgi body, we always draw it in such a manner that its concave side, that is this side faces towards the plasma membrane and convex side faces towards the nuclear membrane. This is Golgi complex. This structure is known as the Golgi body or Golgi complex. Details of this structure uh, we will discuss when we talk about all individual organelles separately. In animal cell there is one very peculiar structure which is found only in these cells not in plant cells that is centrioles. Centrioles are two rod like structures and the two are per, uh, right angles to each other. So if one is vertical, the other one is going to be horizontal. They are close to the nucleus. So if we draw these two structures, this is one centriole and this is the other one. Around these two, there are nine pericentriolar fibers. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine. This entire structure is known as centrosome. So this structure which we have drawn here, this complete part is known as the centrosome. And centrosome has two centrioles. These rod like structures which we have drawn, these are the two centrioles. So ER Gol and Golgi body, we have drawn centriole, centrosome we have drawn. Let us talk about the mitochondria now. Mitochondria, inner membrane is thrown into folds which are known as the crista. So this structure is a mitochondrion. Singular is mitochondrion, plural are known as mitochondria. Then there are certain single membrane structures which are filled with enzymes. They are known as lysosomes. So this one is a lysosome. There are vacuoles also in animal cells. The vacuoles are small and numerous. There are many vacuoles which are found. So this one is a vacuole. Now, in animal cells, we also see some cytoskeletal structures. And these cytoskeletal structures are normally drawn in the form of rod-like things. And this cytoskeletal structure can be a microtubule or a microfilament. Microtubules are hollow pipe like structures whereas the microfilament is a solid rod like structure. These are made up of tubulin protein and microfilaments are made up of actin proteins. The function is to provide strength and framework to the cell. So in a typical animal cell, the most common organelle that we see is the centrally placed nucleus and all the organelle are between nuclear membrane and 
द प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन इन द साइटोप्लाज्मिक एरिया एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम्स टू वन स्मूथ वन आर वन रफ बेसिकली वी हैव जस्ट ड्रॉन वन ऑफ एवरीथिंग सो दैट देयर इज इनफ स्पेस फॉर ऑल द ऑर्गनल व्हिच आर टू बी ड्रॉन हियर बट देयर नंबर वैरीज a cell which synthesizes more protein would have more of rough endoplasmic reticulum because it is the ribosome where the protein synthesis takes place a more active cell would have more number of mitochondria so depending upon the metabolic activities a cell performs the numbers of organelle keep changing so we have drawn one rough endoplasmic reticulum one smooth a golgi complex a centrosome which is a characteristic feature of animal cell only one mitochondria lysosomes and few vacuoles plus we have also drawn the cytoskeletal structures so these are the organelle which are present in a typical animal cell or a eukaryotic cell which is animal cell in plant cell there would be some different structures in animal cell the plasma membrane is exposed centrosome is present so these are two unique features of the animal cell now in the next part we would take up the plant cell which is the other important eukaryote